Good morning, folks. Stick around. Got a special message about upcoming events at the end of this video. Helio Viewer is still days lagging behind, but using our inferior monitoring sights, we can see one filament snap and CME. It was a tighter coil that stays wound up through the interplanetary magnetic fields. Also note that the huge CME visible a few hours earlier was indeed a halo eruption, but that it was on the opposite side of the sun and not coming our way. Otherwise, it was a calm day on our star, surface surging only. The solar flaring has dipped back down despite the presence of sunspots that have impressive size and magnetic complexity. The lead group is gamma for sure, and but for its spread would be a clear delta, something we can already say about the north trailing group. Will they stay silent or get rowdy with major planetary geometry just hours away? Looking at the solar wind shows anything but calm. After a leading density shock wave in excess of 100 protons per cubic centimeter, the speed and plasma temperature began rising quickly. That's a coronal hole stream, and every space weather index is showing it right now except for our magnetic shield. KP4 is tops thus far, but storm conditions and reverberations could exist later today. Had an above average quake in China this morning that struck 6 magnitude on one reader. USGS, not really even close to that. We also got ourselves one way above average near Cyprus. For this area, that's like a six-pointer hitting California. Now, while we're watching one coronal hole depart, which lost all major quake power as it faced Earth, there's another one coming in from the left, showing medium-level force at the moment. Electric Universe Proponents A step in the right direction for dark matter here, still not recognizing the electricity of the material or ditching old vocabulary, but they are backing off from the mainstream story on those particles. Also got a great article for you on a newly found exoplanet. Good read. Let's quickly run through the weather to see that low dropping into the central states readying to make for severe alerts once more, with a cold funneling in behind them for major winter alerts, all that while the gulf moisture still intrudes into the southeast. Flood potential, tornado warnings, in Europe, and a blizzard. We see this circulation over Spain, and a strong wind line racing across the north down into the continent. Clouds curling over top of Spain and driving across the north to the right into the continent. We'll come to Australia and New Zealand where a tiny convergence cutting through Australia points right at the primary weather maker right now. System is still offshore but it's tossing rain their way and tracking in that direction. Upcoming events. We'll start today with another radio interview for K-Wave 6. We'll be giving a climate change update in just a few hours here. You can listen live, call into the show to ask questions, or catch the whole thing later on if you're busy. Link is found below this video. Then, we're just three days away from another leg of the Mobile Observatory project. For those who don't know, I turned a 36-foot RV into the mobile observatory, and until a pregnancy forced us to take a break, we had spent the last eight months traveling around, meeting you guys, giving talks, and keeping the science going. Now, while the RV will not be able to make this trip, I still wanted to get to all the initially contemplated states before this baby comes, so Saturday I'm flying out to Denver. And if your eyes aren't too red to drive, I'd love to see you out there. Next day, I'm flying to San Francisco, where Fly on the Wall member Tony Rango will be at the event as well. Next event in Sacramento is private for the kids, so if you're nearby, it's better to try to come see us at the Bay on the weekend. And then after that, it's time for PrepperCon, like Comic-Con, but for people like us. I've got a presentation on how our studies should influence how you prep, and I'll be giving it both Friday and on Saturday. We've got two chances to see it. And of course, I'll be coming back home and waiting for my little daughter to be born. My wife is amazing, by the way. And it will be a heartbreaking pleasure to have to leave my little one a month later to give back-to-back -back solar influence discussions with Dr. Kong Papu Yen at the next Thunderbolts conference. EU 2015 should be a lot of fun again this year. After that, things calm down until October. But folks, that's the big one. We have our first ever Observers Conference, Observing the Frontier. October 17th and 18th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'll be speaking. Most of the team will be there. Dave Talbot will talk. So will Drs. Kong Pop Uyen and Pierre-Marie Robitaille. First link below is to the conference page. 
Almost all VIP tickets are gone during this pre-registration period already. I recommend you lock in before June 1st. And the NFL schedule comes out in just a few days. So whether you want to stay at the event hotel or another one close by, the room prices would skyrocket if the Steelers have a home game that weekend. So you might not want to wait on booking a room either. I've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Scroll down, click, eyes open. No fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.